then before screwing it back in, <clears throat> push that in to keep the two halves together. So now we can start reassembling everything here. So first we'll start with the ribbon underneath here. We're going to take it and push it that way into your display board. Doesn't need too much pressure. And then we take this ribbon and push it down here so our hard drive has a little bit more space. It'll just fall into place like that. And then take your plastic piece, throw it under there. Now, some stuff there. Now we can put back in our wireless and the other memory stick, which by now will be another gigabyte of memory. So now you want the small end on this side. Just push in. Should go in very easily. Make sure it's even. Press down. You should hear both of those clip. Then you're done with that piece of memory. Now you take your wireless card. Make sure the short end is towards you. This one is going to go in with a little click. And you have it pointing up. Then you push it down, both of those will lock in. Then you can put in your power cords. White goes on this side, black goes on this side. Hopefully you won't get those mixed up, but it could happen. Just press gently. should snap into place. <clears throat> One thing you want to be careful of is your little battery right here. If this gets pushed over too far over here, it'll prevent the memory from seating properly. So you're going to want to make sure that is relatively tight under your section here. Now we can start putting our screws back in. So, just make sure you have them all open, free of dirt. Now, where each of these go aren't really particular, because they are all the same thread all the same length. But if you like to make sure that that particular one goes there, then that's fine. You don't have to go in a crisscross pattern, but it's a pattern I like to do. Just make sure everything is lined up before. See, this one has a little resistance to it. It's going pretty smoothly. Yeah, there we go. So now you had to make sure it snaps down. And last one, you're going to want to hold your slot back. hand tight. Now you can reinstall your trays and your hard drive. So first, hard drive. Um, this is a different hard drive than what originally came in. This one. So uh, I don't have my original. But for this particular Samsung one, you're going to want to have the slave and uh, master pins face that way. 
just drop it down in. Make sure the pins line up properly. Then just gently push in and should seat so you don't see any pins right there. So, put my covers back in. Then your small screws. And your battery. Now, your HP TC1100 has now been disassembled and reassembled with new memory, if that's what you've done. So just turn it on, see if everything's okay. Yep, everything's okay. So, I hope this assembly video has been of use to you, and if you haven't, check out the disassembly video, it's just as good.